Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another speedboat video of our city zoo. And in today's episode, we are going to build a habitat for the North American beaver. So if you have seen the previous episode, you will remember I was talking about a potential beaver habitat, not being exactly sure where to place it. But someone in the comments mentioned this idea of adding the beavers in the river we built like earlier in between like the Australia and the African area. And as I mentioned as well during the last episode, this was basically like what I thought maybe would be cool to have like more of beavers just living around the whole zoo instead of like maybe making like a real habitat for them or anything like that. So yeah, that is what we're going to do. We're going to add the beavers in the first part of the zoo, but they're obviously going to be around the zoo more often. I think that is going to be a very cool idea. Now, obviously there has to be a keeper's dole. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that, like especially for these smaller animals in real life, you could just see a keeper walking over or climbing over a fence or anything like that. So sometimes you really wish you don't need a keeper's gate or like that you have like maybe like half of the size of the gate. Something like that would be just really amazing and make it look a little bit more natural, realistic in some areas of your zoo. Now, obviously, there also has to be like an area where they get fed and there's going to be a shelter for them to sleep and to have some rest. But I really am trying to blend this in more nicely in the area that we made earlier. Now, if you have seen my pack overview video or maybe you played the time scenario yourself, you will know there are like some really great beaver lambs that Frontier made in this scenario. Uh, I basically just made a blueprint from these dams and used them in my city zoo because honestly, like why would you bother? Like you can put in a lot of time and effort to rotate all the logs and all these angles and stuff. And I already thought before I started like, oh, I really do not want to go and put so much time and effort in creating this beaver dam. And Frontier made these really cool dams in the scenario. So I was like, hell, I'm just going to blueprint those and I'm going to use those in this build and around this zoo and uh, I think they, they just look great. So why not go use those beaver dams instead, right? So yeah, I did use like these beaver dams mostly to close off like the bridges. So this area is like a pretty long section and it is closed off right now. But maybe in the future, if I'm going to add more beavers, I might go and delete the beaver dams at some point and put them somewhere else. So we can have like this really long river or maybe I'm going to have more habitat. So I'm not entirely sure about that yet, but I think this definitely is a great start. And I think many of you will agree with me that this is a really nice idea to to have the beavers not really as like a habitat habitat animal but really just living around the zoo i just really love that idea now obviously in europe where this zoo is based i think the zoo can we can say that this one is based in the netherlands so yeah of course we don't have the north american beaver in the netherlands but we do have beavers in the Netherlands, and I think those are the Eurasian beavers, but correct me if I'm wrong, it could maybe be that there is another name, I, I'm not really sure about that. I think it's the Eurasian beaver, so yeah, we have them a lot living in the Netherlands. I have never seen them before in my life, I don't even think that I have seen them ever before in a zoo. Nonetheless, I really do love it that we have some beavers in the game. But yeah, I really do love it. Like having these beavers living all around your zoo at one point, it's really giving that extra touch to the rivers and it really makes them come more alive. So I really do love that. I really could not think of any other animal to basically do this with. Like otters, no, I don't think otters would be a perfect fit for that. I, I do really think that beavers or like, like fish, for example, like koi, uh, if we would ever get like via vaxes or anything like that with like koi fish, I'm not really sure if that is the right word, but I think it is koi fish. Uh, like having via vaxes or actual real fish 
and just put them all around your zoo in the river. I think that would be the other animal that I could think of seeing everywhere around the zoo in the water sections. But yeah, beavers, I, I, I really love it that we have them and that I'm able to use them in a different way of what we are basically used to with many other animals in our zoo. And I'm honestly also not really expecting Frontier to add the Eurasian beaver as well in a future update. I think the animals look a lot similar. Well, they could be just like, it could be an extra animal being like almost a reskin of this beaver. Because I, I, I tried to look up some pictures, but I wasn't really sure if there are like real differences in between the beavers. But I could be completely wrong as well. So do let me know if, if you know more about beavers in general, because I honestly have no idea. And it was actually really nice because I'm using all these like Asian fences around the whole water, around the path and stuff. And they actually hold the beavers really well. In the first, uh, in the beginning, I looked it up in the Zoopedia and it was like one and a half meters. And I was like, ah, oh, shoot, that means that I really need some high fences. And that is what I also started with around the keeper's gate. Uh, so later on, I realized like, hey, these fences are just perfectly fine and a, a fine height. Or uh, maybe it's just the sandbox mode setting that they are not able to escape. But that could also basically be the reason why they're not going to escape in City Zoo. Uh, either way, I'm very happy because I was like, I don't want to have like this huge fence all around this river. I really wanted to feel just like this. This this was just an area that already was built before we got the beavers so I'm not going to change anything about the fences and it's just really great to just add them in here adjust the area a little bit and make this more of like a natural habitat for the beavers so yeah we did have to start with like a little bit more of an open area to make sure that we have this keeper's gate but that keeper's gate is basically gonna go so you will see me placing it down during the speed build but that keeper's gate is going to be moved more towards a corner because I just wasn't really happy. Exactly what I said, like they are actually a little bit too big for my taste. So either I want like a small one or just something like a no gate that the keepers would just climb over the fences or maybe just walk through it. If, if that is a solution with having like a no gate, that would be just great. I would really just <laughs> love that to be completely honest. But yeah, I made sure like at some areas that you have this more, a little bit more open view into the water, but most of it, it's, it's definitely just as dense as it was. So there will be spots where you will be able to see those beavers uh, in the water swimming around and there will be two spots on the land area basically where we do add like this ramp and stuff to make sure that they are able to climb out of the water and, and go back into the water because the terrain itself is pretty steep so at some point you can see that the beaver is able to climb up onto the terrain but it just doesn't look super natural so having these ramps for them to to be able to climb up and down I think that just makes a little bit more sense in this way like even though I want it to all look as natural as possible I don't think you can avoid of having some things for them to help them a little bit move around and obviously like uh, like on both sides of the habitat so at the river sides you will have these ramps and uh, yeah also a little bit more of an area where the guests can see them more up close and also of course making sure on the other side of the habitat that there are like these enrichment items to uh, really attract them on to the other side of the habitat and not have them only where the keeper's gate is and where they get fed. So just to make sure that they are going to use the whole river in this way, I uh, yeah, I think that totally makes sense, even though this is meant to be more of like a natural area instead of like a habitat. So the little cabin that we uh, started with during the speed build is, is closed on most of the sides. There will be like two little windows also to make sure that the guests would be able to look into the little cabin for a little peek if there are some beavers sleeping out there and there will be like this opening for the beavers of course to go into the cabin but there's also going to be another opening on the cabin where the ramp is going down into the water now later on i did see that the beavers were able to just also 
go from the terrain right away to the ramp instead of like walking through the little cabin. But I was like, you know what, it's, it's totally fine by me. Let them go into the water however they want to. If As long as it looks natural, it's all good to me. Now that dam that Frontier made, I think that one just looked so good that I later decided to make like this smaller blueprint out of it so I could use it sometimes on the edges, like lower it a little bit into the ground. And I think that definitely gives that extra touch that this river needs, as well as like the water lilies. I noticed that Frontier added uh, either the, um, the reeds and the water lilies uh, at some point at the beaver dam. So I really loved how that was looking. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna add the water lilies and these reeds as well a little bit more around this river section to make it feel even more natural than it already did. Now, other than that, I didn't didn't have to do so much uh, throughout this area just because we already built this. Like, if you have not seen it yet, like we finished this whole whole area with the Australian pack and the uh, some African animals from the Africa pack. Uh, completely with like this restaurant you probably see in the cinematic shots in the background of this beaver habitat. So we did like this little tour of this complete area uh, also on the channel. So if you have not seen it, I would highly recommend you to watch that one as well. Like I did not do a speed build video of the restaurant. So yeah, you will not find that restaurant building in any other video other than that tour video. But yeah, I think it's just really nice. Like imagine having kids and families just sitting on that restaurant and the kids are walking around and they're just like, oh my God, I'm gonna look at the beavers. And they're just having fun uh, around the edge of this river. Well, not the edge of the river, but behind the fences, of course, to keep safe or stay safe. But yeah, I can totally see some kids being excited and trying to spot some beavers in the rivers that live there. So I really do like that idea as well. And just for those that are wondering, like, the water looks pretty green. Maybe maybe it's a little bit too green, but especially in the Netherlands, like we have pretty dark green, murky water. So it's definitely not really clear water. So that is definitely something I try to represent with this uh, river color and being so murky. Like it might change a little bit over time. Uh, like I have to, I, I think I have to make sure that all the water is looking exactly the same uh, throughout this river. But yeah, it might change a little bit, but definitely that murky feeling, that is something I really wanna achieve or, or have in this zoo because I think that represents uh, the best of how the water looks in the Netherlands at least. All in all, I'm, I'm definitely really excited with the uh, about the North America pie. We're probably going to start an extra North American area and we're going to expand the land of the cold area with some other animals. I'm going to divide that probably because of uh, space issues. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still planning to continue with this zoo. I'm very excited to uh, add this second North America animal in this city zoo. And I'm very excited to start adding the next one. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this beaver habitat. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content on the channel, I definitely have you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!